Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and we hear the chicadas at the same time here. Um, so this is UL, the non-directional beacon here in Montreal that will be decommissioned in a few days. I'll be monitoring that through the week. 248 kilohertz, it's a uh, thousand watts and it is uh, one of the beacons that have been for the airport for a long time. Uh, it's kind of on the west uh, island part of Montreal, so it's um, quite far away from me uh, on the island uh, to the west, but um, easy to hear still on 248 kilohertz. So, you know, uh, non-directional beacons, for those who wonder what these do, these were used for a long time for aircraft. Uh, they were able with these to uh, navigate and know exactly their position and also know what um, not only their position but uh, alignment with the um, runway so when they were actually coming through the airport they were able to actually pinpoint uh, using this technology and today this is replaced mostly by satellite technology so that's why these are being decommissioned slowly and uh, while well, 28 Canadian beacons are being decommissioned this week, I will try to chase some of them. Um, see if I can hear even a small peep of some of the other ones that are... You know, the closest one is still quite far away, so I don't know how well I'm going to be able to receive any of them. But I'll try to do that and try to find a location where the noise isn't too high. Because long wave, that's the big problem. Uh, by the way, the non-directional beacons are in AM mode. But sometimes you can use a uh, single sideband, either upper or lower sideband. For the weak ones, it sometimes helps and sometimes you're able to actually make out an ID that you weren't able to make out in AM mode, for example. But most of them are in AM mode. Uh, the story of the future of these non-directional beacons is also sad because if you are one of those that likes to monitor and DX these, well, you better do it soon because they are going to be decommissioned slowly. Uh, we know that Canada has another batch of non-directional beacons that will be decommissioning early 2022. And overall, pretty much every non-directional beacon that you have in North America, except a few handful of isolated ones, will all be decommissioned somewhere by 2026. So the long wave band will be rather quiet at that time. So, uh, probably one of the last videos of, uh, that will be made of UL. be fun if I could make one. Well, it'd be fun. It'd be interesting if I could make one for when it was actually going to shut down. I'm going to actually listen at midnight um, on the 11th to the 12th to see if by any chance it, it stops there. But we'll be monitoring this this week for sure. And you hear another plane here because this is a... One of the places where the uh, one of the routes where they actually come through and uh, go to the airport here. So U L is the letters being sent in Morse code, and it is the uh, one of the 28 non-directional beacons to be shut down on August 12th, 2021. Only three days from now. Thank <laughs> you. 